Happy Easter, everybody that's at home, or even people that are working. I'm not working, so I'm working in my yard. And this is all the things that are hiding from, these are all the things that are hiding from the sun right now, and it's 92 degrees. So I'm trying to save them from dying, because they'll die pretty quickly out there when the sun, you might get a lot of water. So here's the update. I did add a couple of things. There's the blueberry bush there. I not figure out where I want it yet. Gardenia I just bought. The shrub rose, a pink one right there that I really like. The orange so I'm not hanging over a pot. And this is my flower pot that has mostly shade, so everything's doing great. It's those geraniums, pansies, big gerbers. Um, the bulbs are glads. I think there's uh, some dahlias in there too. I just haven't seen where. I don't think dahlias have come up yet, but they're starting to come up. But ironically, I've got mushrooms growing in here. I've never seen that before. So, let's see if I can find one. My three English roses, I've been struggling with the uh, white water. I think I was overwatering them. And that one's about ready to blow up. It's a, a big, like a big core bundle that it's an English rose and it, you get lots of, lots of buds on here. And then this one's doing better too. It was getting burnt. A couple parts of it got burnt. And I couldn't tell if it was too much water or not enough. I think it's too much. That thing is a shrub rose. It's got a lot of rubs on it already. I moved some things from the nursery. Those two plants are from the nursery, recovering from the Avelina experience. And then I have to mix in some mulch to make that make sense with the so like this is the mulch on the other side. So I doubled side this bed just because I wanted to get more plants in. This is another English rose, Leonardo da Vinci, and it's a red one. And that one looks like it's got buds on it as well. My little ice gold rose is doing great. Lori's uh, old English rose has got a bunch of buds on it, so it'll be interesting to see how that what they look like. Raspberry is growing well, but just not flowering, and the blackberry is on fire. So he's going to give me some fruit here pretty quick. The pear tree is right over the side of that fence. You can't see it because it's so small. A little stick there is a tree. Um, he's doing good. Trumpet vine has forgiven me that I cut it all down. I got rid of one completely out in the front yard where I put that tree. And then over here, the citrus trees. I'll have too many buds on them, so that there's no way they could produce as much flower or as many fruits as they have buds for. I haven't decided which one I'm going to pull yet. You can see there's lots of baby little fruits on there. That is the Dobson seedless grape. That's my mandarin orange. And the nursery is now in flux because I pulled some things out to, to replenish the spots where I had openings in the beds. So four different types of, of tomatoes, three snap peas there on the left, all using that same trellis. This little leaf is that tomato that the javelina ate. And then this is my fig that I made from a cutting. It's now only about five years away from being a viable plant, but at least he's closer. Here's your update.